Hello and welcome to the Winning Agenda's coverage of Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths. My name's Jesse Marshall and I am here with a third game in this draft. Um, we are on the play, which makes this hand a little on the awkward side. But at least we can return the ominous seas which we cycle with our Boneyard Lurker since it returns all permanents. So I feel a little better about that. If we can hit this Thieving Otter on turn three, That'll be okay. Now we might not even need to cycle the ominous seas. There you go. Having this down on turn two, I feel like can result in some good things occurring. A mysterious egg. How intriguing. Uh, so let's get the thieving otter down. And pass the turn. No mutations of Lord Dracus type individuals at the moment with our mana base, uh, but that's all right because we haven't got the instants and sorceries in the bin anyway at the moment. But at least we've got more mutate targets and a few mutators to come, uh, as well as a lurking dead eye to potentially blow a hole in a few things along the way. So yeah, Ominous Seas, not a bad two drop. Our opponents have gone up to 21 from their th Tranquil Cove and they're sitting on a Vantasaur in the bin and a Frostlink's in play, okay. So we got the fourth land and we might go Boot Nipper into Lord Dracus mutation, I guess. Seems okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll give it lifelink. And we'll mutate onto it. And if it does get killed, then we can bring it back, or at least bring back the Dracus, which can then bring back the other half. Old nippy, nippy boot nips. So I'm drawing another card. It's not a land, but we can go ahead and get in there here. So whatever their blocks are, I think we've got reasonable responses for them post combat. So we can either flash in the lurking dead eye if they block the pyroceratops that way, um, or if they do it this way, then we can flash in the lurking dead eye anyway. Um, and then next turn we can uh, Boneyard Loker to retrieve the Thieving Otter. So that's good, we'll let damage occur, and then we'll bring in the Deadeye. Don't think we'll be killing our own Dracus, although there could be worlds with these cards in our deck where we do want to be doing that. We'll bring back the Ottery Otter, I think. Um, this has got... Hmm. So we're still not going to get any value off the Lord Dracus, which is very sad. But I still think we're happy to take that, even though we can't attack into the Tiger Rilla. So we'll go over, bring that back, and then attack with the dead eye. Because we're happy to trade that on the attack with the Tigerella. But no, we get four in, which is nice. I mean, yeah, four two isn't always the best stats, but as we said in the drafting phase, this is best in an aggressive deck. Um, not just because of its power and toughness, but just because of the ability generally. Um, so Archipelagor now gets to make a little bit of mayhem, hopefully, with their board. So we're over, tap down the creatures. Now 
not getting any value off our triggers. But at least we're getting in a bit of damage. So not sure what they're sitting on in hand there. Possibly their green cards. Or something really enormous, an ultimatum perhaps. Hopefully not an inspired ultimatum. Because uh, they certainly have the mana for it. Rumbling Rock Slide. No. There goes the team. Um, get in there. And get the otter down. And then we've got a couple more turns until old mate comes online. We'll end the turn and we won't play the other land because we've hit the top of our curve, played our most expensive creature, um, and we've got two looters in our deck, so we might end up wanting to pitch that. Yadaro, 8-8 eight, eight, Trample Haste. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, that brawls pretty well with our 8-8, eight, eight, doesn't it? End turn. I guess we might have to wait for 8-8 number 2. <laughs> okay, so three lands in a row, but we're not dead yet. As they say. And because of their life total and our board, it's a little difficult for them to attack. Hopefully it stays that way. So we can, um, if we draw our mass extinction, we can kill stuff. All right. Get this thieving otter out. Probably could have held on to more of those lands for looters, but that's all right. No need for us to rush things at this stage, I don't think. I think we'll make our first Kraken. We are certainly drawing a lot of land. Do we get in there? I think we do, since they have to trade with Yadara if they don't have a removal spell. And they have to let us draw a card off a of Thieving Otter. Or they die to the Dead Eye. Fair enough, Yudaro survives, but at least we get to draw another card and get closer to the next. Sweet, okay, that should be enough to do it. If we can mutate onto the Otter, okay, that's tapping something down, that's unfortunate. So do we hold off on the Shaw Shark here? Possibly not. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do. We'll wait till the Dead Eye awakens. All right, thieving order number three. It is. So we should be able to get there next turn, I'd hope. Depending on what they've got. But we can also remember play the Shore Shark just on its own as a 4-2, uh, a 4-3 rather, which could be relevant here if they decide to attack again with Yudaro. Or is this a Lordracus getting back something? Rumbling Rock Slide would be nice for them here. Really would have liked to see one of those looters, hey? Be 
Is Yadara coming again? Yes. In that case, I think we'll mutate onto a thieving otter. Ah, oh, no, we'll do that end of turn. We can afford to take eight for now. No blocks. Pass. So we'll just bounce that now. Yeah, that's way better. Um, to save our creature, that's worth it, I think, even though they get to play out the Frost Links again. Yeah, it's kind of questionable. So what does it mean? They'll have a Frost Links, they'll tap this down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. So they get back a Rumbling Rock Slide. Or an Essence Scatter. Up to them, really. But presumably Rumbling Rock Slide. No, Essence Scatter. Okay. Interesting. Uh, mutual destruction, not great. But at least we can draw another card by forcing the block. And hopefully we can draw into our extinction event to kill the, because presumably they'll block the tiger villa to die. Yeah, and Dracus to survive. So then if we extinction event for odds, we can kill both of their creatures. All right. Um, I think we'll Chittering Harvester now to force them to use their counter spell. And then we'll go ahead and Mutual Destruction the Yudaro. Um, and then in two turns time we get an 8-8 eight, eight in within which time hopefully they won't be able to kill us all of our little thieving otters are in the bin now that's so sad ah, finally well that came a little bit late didn't it <laughs> um, but anyway let's choose odd and get rid of that and all its friends. And then we'll get ourselves an 8-8 next turn, hopefully. Very good. All right, well, that was a little bit harder than it seemed like it was going to be, but the ominous seas certainly proved to be quite ominous and live up to their name. So thanks for watching. I've been uh, Jesse Marshall for The Winning Agenda. Leave any thoughts in the comments and we'll see you back again very shortly.